What's up YouTube? We are back with another awesome moto vlog. Like I said in the last vlog, we're going to be addressing a drive shaft issue that I've been dealing with, particularly with the front drive shaft. Now I'm going to play a video so you can actually hear the sound that I was having. All right, so this is the weird sound I'm getting uh, as I deal with what seems like a drive shaft issue. So you can hear a high pitch squealing there. It's kind of Originally what this sounded like to me was a belt going, but after some further troubleshooting and using the helpful search function on the GXR Facebook page, I was able to find out that I have the same problem that many of you have already had, and many of you who haven't had it, you may be encountering this problem very soon, especially if you're approaching that 200,000 mark and your drive shafts haven't been replaced. I want to give a big shout out to Dan Coons, one of the admins of GXR. Not only were your tips helpful in troubleshooting the problem, but I'm also going to use some of your tips such as the phase alignment for the drive shaft and that is using a simple paint marker to mark uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3 on each side of the drive shaft before you take it out and then also mark the new drive shaft so that when you put things back in, everything's phase aligned. If you aren't already a GXOR Facebook member, I highly recommend joining. It's a great resource for troubleshooting problems. There are tons of people just like Dan who are experts on Toyota and Lexus platforms. Just as a reminder, before you go asking questions randomly on that page, use the search function because they try to cut down on repetitive posts. There's plenty of posts about most things you're looking for. So just use that search function to really help you out. So after hearing the noise that you hear in that video, I went under the GX and I read a lot of people just solving this problem with greasing these. I did not know that you have to maintenance these Zerk fittings on the drive shaft with grease every so often. So if your drive shaft isn't failing, I highly recommend getting up in there and getting these Zerk fittings with grease. It'll help the longevity of your drive shaft and hopefully you're not in a situation like me and having to replace it. So I'm going to put a picture up on the screen that I took with my phone and you can see that I have a bad U-joint and that is actually the squeaking problem that I'm seeing. So you can see in the picture there's a piece of metal hanging out and when we get up under the GX I'll show you that in a little bit more detail. But basically my U-joint is failing and actually some of the metal shim from the U-joint is actually peeling its way out so it's only a matter of time till this thing fails so I'm just going to go ahead and nip it in the bud and get rid of that squeak noise and just replace the entire drive shaft. I picked this up from Lexus of Wesley Chapel, Florida. $340 shipped, actually $363 shipped. Um, this is a great deal so for you know just a little under 400 bucks and some labor of your time there's only four bolts on each side so it should be pretty easy. I see a ton of people getting quotes on doing this install from dealerships and shops and they are very pricey. I'm seeing over $1,000 quotes from some of you and that's just insane. There's four bolts on each side so this should be super easy. All right, so it's like 105 degrees. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm gonna open up the garage door and try to air things out in here because I'm dying. So let's just get started on the install. I got the GX already up on the quick jacks. So really there's only four bolts up here at the front and then the four bolts here at the rear. There's a little pan here, <laughs> some grease scooped over for me. There's some bolts right here, you can take this little guard off. Uh, I'm gonna hit this skid plate here and take that off so I can get access to those four bolts. But really, what we need to do is just take our paint marker and mark the positions that we need on these so that we know exactly what phase this thing needs to align to because it's gonna spin on us. And also you wanna have your transfer case in neutral and your car in neutral, so Make sure you do that so that you can actually freely spin things and, and get access to each bolt. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to get to a bolt that might be on the top and harder to reach. But if you can freely turn the drive shaft, then you can just get the bottom bolts and spin and just always stay hitting the bottom bolts and making life a lot easier. Just a quick reminder, you cannot put the car in neutral when the key is in and take it out. So to do that, you just pop up. There's a little plastic cover on here. You just pop that up and push down on this button and you can move the drive shaft into neutral and then also I just put the transfer case into neutral which is the middle position. Alright so this is kind of a wiggle test you can do on the suspected bad U-joint this will show you kind of the play that's here that's not supposed to be. You can see it's just like freely moving in there so that thing is just shot 
right, and that's that thud noise that a lot of you are talking about. You're hearing a thud when you go into a park or when you go into drive from park or reverse. It's this engaging and slipping and hitting against the side. And this will even make weird uh, thud noises at red lights too when you're starting off from stop. So, so glad to see that we're able to truly tell um, if the metal shard coming out wasn't enough of a telltale sign this is surely one for you to be able to check and if you got any kind of play like this you're going to want to replace that drive shaft. Alright I'm sure it's pretty self explanatory but this is the tip from Darren Coombs so thank you for this I probably would have taken this apart and not even thought about it but what you do here and the concept is is just put markers for 0, 1, 2, and 3 0 being no paint mark at all and then back here, you can see I did the same thing, so one, two, and three. So you want to do the same on the new drive shaft, but just before you start unbolting things, just throw this up there and it'll make your life a lot easier. So the drive shaft is loose. Pivot it out. And we're gonna slowly work our way out of here. Alright, so we've got obviously <laughs> a size difference here between the new drive shaft and the old one that I just took out of the vehicle. So unfortunately, it looks like what I did is I, I misread. Uh, the part number and I ordered the rear drive shaft instead of the front one so uh, good news is is I can totally use this rear drive shaft because the current one that's on the vehicle has 180 almost 190 thousand miles on it so that's gonna eventually need to be replaced uh, so really just a small hiccup I'm gonna go order uh, the front drive shaft as well I'll put the Toyota Lexus part numbers uh, in the video description below I'm ordering them directly from Lexus so we'll just go order the right part number and we will install that when it arrives alright so we got the new drive shaft in and I have it kind of flipped up on the side so that they're both in the same orientation so there's gonna be two things we're gonna want to do uh, these Zerk fittings need to be greased on the new drive shaft because they do not uh, grease them from factory so they're sent dry so we'll need to grease those I'll uh, get the grease gun out and we'll do that and then also we need to go through and mark each of these tabs we'll mark them with the right phase markers from when I took the drive shaft out uh, so that when we go to put things in it'll line up properly so let's just start doing the marking and we'll get the grease gun going So these Zerk fittings uh, get painted, so I'm going to take a screwdriver or a razor blade and just kind of scrape the paint off the top so that you can get that out of the way. And then once you have the paint kind of scraped off, make sure you go in around that ball bearing there that's kind of a one-way valve for the grease and kind of just push down on it. Make sure that it's feeling like it's got some movement and it's not seized up by any paint there and should be ready for the grease gun then. All right, and then for grease, I use the Lucas Oil Red and Tacky. This stuff works great. So I'm gonna hit each of these Zerk fittings with this Lucas Oil uh, lube, and that'll get us nice and greased up on our new drive shaft. You might be able to see as I'm greasing up the drive shaft that this joint right here is actually expanding, uh, showing that it's filling up with grease. So I'm gonna grease it until it matches the same length roughly and 
and then just wipe up the excess grease. So at this point we got one more fitting down in here on both sides on the internal. That one's only going to take two to three pumps. It's not needing nearly as much as this main one uh, and then we're good to go. Actually some grease actually came out and it looks like they're using some other kind of grease. So it looks like they may have already greased the yoke and the U-joints but I'm just going to do uh, two squirts in there just to be sure on both sides. Um, after two some of this grease started to come out um, and expose itself so I think that really just tells me that they've pre-greased at least the U-joints um, but I'm going to add some just to make sure uh, so we're not running things dry. All right, so the drive shaft is greased up on all Zerk fittings, so it's time to throw this thing back in the way we took it out. Uh, one thing to note is I did order for the rear side that's near the transfer case. I did order four new bolts because I did mangle up one of them uh, with the impact getting it off. I mean, it could be reused. I just, I just figured at this point, might as well throw some new ones on. So I got these also from the Lexus of Wesley Chapel. So I'll put the part number for the nuts uh, for the back end of the drive shaft the way I have here. I also put the part numbers for the front drive shaft and also the rear which of course we've got this extra rear one now which uh, definitely going to be throwing that in because uh, the rear one on the GX also is uh, got the same amount of mileage as the front so it's probably only a matter of time till that starts failing. Alright so let's just climb back under the GX and put this new drive shaft in. All right, so with the new drive shaft, we're just gonna slide things into place. Just line things up with the paint markings we made. All right, now that we have things kinda hand tight here on the transfer case side. I'm gonna go over and finish up. I've got the top two in and spun it. And we just gotta put our bolts in here and we'll hit those with 65 foot pounds uh, with our torque wrench. All right, there we have it. Drive shaft bolts are all torqued down to 65 foot pounds. Oh, there we go and you can see Everything is marked and aligned and you can see all this paint marking super well from under here So uh, definitely no issues with that. So at this point, I think we just need to uh, Put the cover back up that was sitting right here and I took off this little Plate back there which was sitting over uh, This section here, so we'll put those things back on and We'll take the GX off the lift and we'll go do a little test drive to see if we still get those uh, clunking noises. All right, so the moment of truth is the test drive. We'll see if we get that loud squeaking noise, which we shouldn't anymore because we have a new drive shaft. And we'll also see if we get that weird clunk when we go from park to drive or to reverse and the drive shaft is uh, engaging and disengaging and causing that U joint that was failing to just kind of slip and make that uh, very scary sounding uh, thud noise that we heard uh, in an earlier part of the video. So start it up and See what happens. Going into reverse from park, this would normally cause quite the thud noise. Buttery smooth. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, so let's just back out. Alright, so far so good. Not hearing any strange noises. Uh, when we put this into drive here, this is normally where I hear a thud. Nothing. Sweet. No more squeaking either. This is awesome. Alright, so I'm just going to go drive around the block here and listen for anything weird. These are supposed to be balanced from factory, so the drive shaft should not need any balancing, and apparently the OEM drive shafts are the best. They're balanced to a T, and so that was why we went with the OEM here, because there are some uh, cheaper options out there. Definitely want to go OEM when you can. Uh, so right now we're doing about 40, and this was the speed right around 40 miles an hour when it really started making tons of noise, and there's nothing. So 
this is great. So what an easy install, four bolts on each side, take a little bit of caution and mark those bolts. After that, throw some new grease in the drive shaft and put it back up in your vehicle and it's done. So for me, I did get both drive shafts, so that was close to around 700 for both drive shafts, um, parts only. But the time to throw these in is super easy. So if you're only doing the front, it's the 350 ish dollars for the front drive shaft and a little bit of labor. I'd say if you follow this video, you can have the old drive shaft out and the new one in, and I'd say about two hours. Make sure you're just playing a little bit of margin in there and you should be good. All right, well that does it for today's vlog. Hit that thumbs up if you like today's video. If you're not already an awesome auto subscriber and you like to watch GX470 maintenance and modification content, hit that subscribe button down below to get entered into monthly t-shirt giveaways and notifications every time I upload new videos. And lastly, if you wanna support the channel and get more videos like this, head on over to awesomemoto.tv to pick up yourself some awesome moto merchandise and help support the channel. Like always, all proceeds from merchandise sales go right back into the channel to bring you more content like this. All right, well, I'm gonna end things here. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.